Well, part of art is the process of making something ordinary into something extraordinary, and a local artist is doing that and a lot more. He has made it his mission to transform an old brick wall into a stirring memorial to honor our nation's military. And as Fox 8's photojournalist Ali Gambari shows us, some of the people who appreciate his work are ones who were there. Amherst is a small, friendly town uh, known as the sandstone capital of the world and for hot dog heaven. Until recently, the veterans mural wall has become an icon in the center of the city. We started with uh, World War II veterans, uh, the Iwo Jima flag raising. Both of my grandfathers were World War II veterans. I just have a ton of respect for that generation. It's a reverse timeline to show um, our tribute to the Korean War. It's a challenge trying to make these letters clean as possible. This wall is very, it's very rough. The next one down is uh, Vietnam, uh, which my father served in the Navy. This section of the wall from here to here has the 98 soldiers from Lorain County that lost their lives in the Vietnam War. And um, Iraq and Afghanistan veterans are local soldiers that, that lost their life in battle. It's looking really good. Eric M. Barnes, Airman First Class, United States Air Force. Benjamin W. Bisky, Sergeant. I could easily have been buddies with any one of these guys, even though I never got the opportunity or the honor to meet any of them. Ryan Goose Giese. Lance Corporal. The special thing about this mural is that it represents 70 years of contributions from our American military. I did it the way I know how. It's just an honor to be able to do it. The families um, have given me uh, their blessing to uh, pay tribute to their uh, son, father, uncles. I'm just um, honored that people um, appreciate it. So this is my little garage studio and um, this is where I do a lot of my smaller paintings and it's just, uh, it's inspirational and it's just, um, I'm in my own element when I'm out here creating. I was on the, in the Battle of Iwo Jima for 30 of the 36 days. On that fourth day, behind me the action was, they put up a small flag, knowing it was there I would then turn around and look there at that flag. They were taking the small one down and putting up the large flag so more of us could see it on the island. A moment that words do not, cannot describe. I happened to be there and I, I am honored that I was there. On July 2nd, 1950, we landed in Korea. We went up to the 38th parallel, and on the way back, Marjorie Higgins from Life Magazine happened to take my picture. Of course, I never knew it. To me, that picture stands out more than it did on the cover of the Life Magazine. Three of my men were out there lost, and I had to make a decision, a foolhardy one at best, to go out and save them, which I did. And that night, I can tell you, the fighting was terrible. And you know, when I look back and think, especially when I see the mural back here, I think of all the 55,000 plus guys that fought during the Vietnam War that weren't fortunate enough to make it back home for me. This is our son, Eric. He was uh, killed by an IED um, on his second tour of duty in Iraq. Um, they were out on a um, night mission and um, they got, they found two of the IEDs, but the third one they didn't find and it hit his truck and... He was just such a great airman, he really was. I mean, he just, I can remember when he first talked about joining the Air Force, um, I told him that, you know, at the time that there was a good chance that he was going to go to Iraq. And he says, Dad, that's the reason I'm joining, because I, he says, I know and I, I really want to do my part. And he did. James P. Hunter, Staff Sergeant. United States Army. Michael J. Metters, Captain, United States Army. 
Daniel M. Shepard, Sergeant, United States Army. Just a beautiful uh, tribute and memorial, and and just to hear from the veterans who were actually there. It, it's uh, powerful. It is bring you to tears. Mm -hmm. Well, the artist plans to add two more service members killed in the war on terror to that mural. To learn more about his work of art, you can head over to fox8.com.